obviously Ricky. That's a given. Um, because he's the best there ever was. Uh, he has the most wins and championships here in the States. Probably second would be Stefan Everts because he's the, the best GP rider that there's ever been, uh, the most successful. And I think his style is super unique and super smooth. So that for me is, is a big one. Number three, probably uh, Jeremy McGrath, the best supercrosser of all time. Um, he had style for days and I think he kind of molded supercross and the sport into what it is today or what was a massive crucial part of that. And number four, um, man, that's tough. Let's say um, Bob Hanna because he was just a savage dude, rode, you know, all heart, just hammered it out all the time and um, was just a really good rider and, and uh, I like his style. If I just think back to what I've seen and what who I idolized growing up, it's it's um, it's Ricky Carmichael, James Stewart. It's just like the most unbelievable talent and speed. And you know he had just crazy dominant performances. That it was just awesome to watch. There's there's no one that rode you know like him. Chad Reed and McGrath, like those were. Those were the figureheads that I I followed and watched and uh, admired. Well, obviously Ricky Carmichael, number one. Uh, Ste- Stefan Everts, number two. Uh, number three, I'd have to go Villapoto because he, he pretty much, when he was racing, he pretty much never lost. And four, I'm a little bit between Dungey and James Stewart. James with the perfect season, obviously. Uh, Dungey was just rock solid for so many years. I, I guess I love you, Ryan, but I'll have to go Stu. I'll have to put uh, Stewart as number four there. I think everybody have put the same name. Uh, you have to put uh, James Stewart, Ricky Carmichael. Uh, that's the, the two legends that you, you must put. Everett and Carroll, yeah. Uh, and I think in in few years, few years we will have to put also Erlings probably. Dude, that's 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 a tough one. Wow, that's kind of an interesting one. Obviously, you got to throw Carmichael in there. I feel like Stewart's got to be in there. Man, I'd probably go with Ricky Carmichael, James Stewart, and then probably like Ricky Johnson. If you're talking like into a mountain, you're talking badasses like. Osho was a badass, Jeff Stanton, Bob Hanna. The guy was dominant, you know, and I think a lot of people forget about that era of the 80s and the 90s, but those guys were, were badasses. You're asking a tough task here, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably go with like Ricky Johnson, Roger DeCoster for Ricky and James. I don't know if I can fill the next two spots. To be continued. <laughs> wow, this is a, that's, that's a hard question. I like the old school guys that when I think of, uh, you know, legends kind of being carved into the sport, um, you know, I think of like a guy like Jeff Stanton, and then, you know, you obviously have Ricky Carmichael, James Stewart. Um, I think even, you know, a guy you probably would, would have to put up there is not a racer anymore, but like a guy like Roger DeCoster, who's, you know, shaped motocross hugely from coming from Europe to America. So I think those are four really guys to put up there right now that I respect a lot. Definitely Ricky Carmichael. He's a legend in the sport for sure. I think you definitely have to put Villapoto and Carmichael. Stewart and Cairoli. You'd put Stefan Everts. I would like, you'd put James Stewart because he was pretty big. Like I was with the bubble scrub and that stuff in the fourth. I don't know in between Hurlings or Antonio. Oh, Brian Villapoto. He was one bad, one bad dude on a mortar state. I think Villapoto and Carmichael for their for their results on being the goat, and Stuart for for I think changing the sports style. You know he was first rider to bring that flamboyant style, the Bubba scrub, that changed the sport 
you know, style of the sport forever. Like every kid, the first thing they want to do is scrub a bike, you know, and, or ride like him. And he still has that style that's that's competitive to the styles today, you know, back then on the 125. And Cairoli because he's, you know, he's the GOAT of, of Europe. So those are, those are my four. My motocross Mount Rushmore would be Stefan Everts, Ricky Carmichael, James Stewart, and Jeremy McGrath. My dad was always technique, and Jeremy McGrath always had the technique. James Stewart elevated the sport with his technique, his things that he could do on the bike, that everyone is searching for that next Bubba scrub. Ricky Carmichael, obviously, through his work ethic, and he proved that working hard creates championships and results. Obviously, Stefan, because of 10-time world championships, again, working hard, and again, the same kind of thing with technique. Being able to be that good um, is, is definitely something special. I guess I'll say my, my personal Mount Rushmore would obviously be Ricky Carmichael, GOAT, Jeremy McGrath, King of Supercross, the two people I looked up to probably the most growing up. I would say Ricky and James have definitely put their place in there, and, and probably Villapoto um, would be would be three for sure to go with. I would put David Bailey on the Mount Rushmore because I grew up thinking that two people knew everything, and it was my dad and David Bailey. So uh, watching his commentating was I, I thought he knew everything about racing, and I still think that. So and. I would say James Stewart. Those are the four people that were probably the most influential for me watching as a kid growing up. I think the next person would probably be the guy that has the most amount of wins would be would be it. Probably Eli, because he's got, I think, three outdoor wins in a row. So, um, you know, he would probably deserve to be up there. Ricky, MC, James, David Bailey. Obviously, I think Jeremy McGrath is one. Um, I think Ricky Carmichael is one. Uh, James Stewart is is another, and I think my fourth would be probably Kevin Windham. Uh, Windham, for obvious reasons, fan favorite. Um, I, I really don't don't know if I've ever met anyone that doesn't like K Dub. Roger DeCoster. You should probably be up there. I think. Um, Let's see, we gotta have a Swedish guy up there. Let's see, uh, who should we pick? I'm gonna pick uh, Lars, or uh, Lars Dad Gunner Lindstrom, because he's a good friend. <laughs> Jeremy McGrath, um, kind of being the king before RC came through and, and watching that kind of, you know, I was very little, but still watching the crown be passed from him to Ricky was, uh, was something unique to watch. Ricky being, I mean, obviously, being the GOAT, um, winning a small time and, um, you know, helping me at the track, kind of just being being someone that I've, I've looked up to my whole entire life. Stuart, for obvious reasons, I think he's the most naturally talented guy to ever ride a motorcycle. You know, what he was able to do is, is insane and hands down, I don't think there will ever be anyone naturally as gifted as what he was. Someone growing up, I always watched um, Stefan Everts. You should probably be up there. Let's pick an American. Um, Carmichael. For sure. Carmichael. Yeah. That's my four guys. Okay, for one, gotta have K Dub in there. Kevin Windham. Because he's awesome. I grew up like watching him. Amazing, smooth, great technique. Um, you gotta have Ricky up there because he's obviously the GOAT. And then um, I would say, shoot, you gotta have Chad up there too, you know, because he's he's a legend in the sport. You gotta have those three. Let's see, how many more do I got? Do I got one more? Oh, David Bailey. I just grew up watching his style and the way he rode, and I don't know. I just think, I mean, he's one of the greats of the sport, so he's got to be up there too. One is Ricky Carmichael because he, he I would say Ricky Carmichael kind of like George Washington, like the, the founding father of modern day motocross. Like he he was the one who who outworked everybody 
and kind of started out like modern day motocross, I would say. James Stewart for just the the amount of talent that he had and still has. Like, I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody ride just like James Stewart. Like, I don't, I don't think it's possible, really. I, I think Kenny is, Ken Roxton is the, the closest one to ride like Stewart. But just the way that James did some things, I don't know if, if that'll ever be matched. Probably one of the, the I would say, toughest guys out there um, that's still out there. And then, well, I guess he just just retired. The fourth one would be Ryan Dungeon. Um, just the way that he, he managed himself, the way he managed his character and, and everything while being an ambassador for the sport, that's... Uh, somebody that we can all look up to um not only on the bike but also off the bike when i was younger i looked up to chad more than i did ricky because i always i always liked the guy that was kind of the underdog and i kind of saw him that way so i looked up to chad a lot but obviously Stuart and ricky you had to look up to him because they were that good even i worked with dungy a little bit it's just cool to be relevant to all these guys that have left the postmark in, in the sport. Jeremy McGrath, James Stewart, Ricky Carmichael, and Ryan Villapoto. He was the most iconic person and he still is today. He's the king of Supercross. So I feel like he inspired a lot of people and you know I feel like a lot of people watching today have watched him in the past. So um, definitely created a fan base for the sport. You got the GOAT Ricky Carmichael, you got James Stewart. He he elevated the sport, I feel, and you got someone that like Ryan Villapoto that was just so dominant for so many years. And I think those are, you know, four of the best right there. Oof. Uh, well, number one, James Stewart, because his style, his speed, uh, he's, the, I, he's the greatest to ever step a foot over a motorcycle. Uh, number two, Carmichael because his grit and determination I mean, he's won more than anybody I know he's the GOAT but I'm gonna put him at number two <laughs> just because Stewart's style is, is unreal uh, I, I really like Caroli at number three uh, with that European style he's, he, I mean he's still putting it to the young kids nowadays so I, I, I think he's just an absolute legend to this day uh, number four, there's a lot of, a lot of good riders. In my eyes, McGrath. Actually, no, I'm gonna put Langston up there. Well, for one, in 250s, he was amazing. And I always just envied watching him on that PC bike. And uh, I remember uh, Red Bud just running up and down, trying to watch him. And then his 2007 season was just un unreal, beating Stewart. And uh, not many people were gonna do that at that time, so. No, I don't. If he didn't get that, the eye, what was it, eye cancer, I believe. I, I think he would have been one of the greatest writers ever. So, yeah, I think that's my top four.